um, uh, the walkthrough of a new startup with the with my new character, um, and then we'll play with the other person that um, will be all new to the game. And after we both complete the tutorial, I'm going to start my tutorial so I can finish it. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, where are we? Hmm. Press control to sneak. They really are trying to teach you everything in this thing. All hidden, perform a sneak attack. That worked. Oops. I haven't found any potions or lock picks or food of any kind, I don't think. Oh, I found some carrot soup. Stamina. That's something. <clears throat> What's it do for us? It gives us some health. Okay. I don't think I need this uh, heavy equipment. Heavy, heavy, and that's uh, some kind of training sword. A training sword? Yeah, well, I don't need that. Okay. Well, it looks like you've certainly recovered from your wounds. And just in time to put that Yoraxian Jekyll seat in his place. Ziswa, is this one grateful we found you in that wreck? The soldiers said they were searching for something. But they barely gave us any chance to respond before they started attacking. It is best to leave. 
There is no reasoning with these maniacs. Yes, this one heard its terrible voice, like something out of a moon singer's stories. Ishadi had hoped to make her way to the Dragonhorn Tower, but she fears that fierce warriors now block her path. Not to mention the dragon circling overhead. Atop the tower sits the Dragonhorn, said to ground dragons. We have to one go get the Dragonhorn. Though Ishadi is not sure if the legends are true, it is our best hope against such a brutal foe. Okay. Oh, then you must exit the catacombs and follow the path north. There you will see the tower. This one cannot promise the plan will work, of course. The Dragonhorn is very ancient, very brittle. But we must try, yes? Yes. Moons be with you. A dragon, sure enough, right there, right? And two moons. All right, let's go try to kill this guy. Much. Queen Eraxia wants this place searched from top to bottom. Nothing but old bones here. What a waste of my time. Even dragons bow to Queen Eurexia.
the dragon may be subdued, but not for long. This one fears for those inside the Adeptorium. Then Zamarak and the Traveler will go. You should take this chance to escape. Majadro will not run while his disciples are in danger. As you wish. Let us be quick then. Okay, hope we don't have to fight the dragon. Guess what? There's a dragon. Well, one person came with me anyway. And he's eating people. Whoops. He knocked us down. This is not going to be good. Oh, break free. Okay. Staff is going to help much. I don't know. The only thing I have is this this thing. There we go. I didn't think they would make us fight a dragon, not really, not Let right now. Let us leave this place before the beast returns. Why did the dragon flee? It was called away. This one heard its name on the wind. Balog Dar. Called away? Do the dragons work together? Perhaps. At the very least, this dragon seems to have allied himself with the Euraxians. Then the rebellion has begun. Yes. This one is afraid it has. Traveler, let us speak. Thank you for saving Majadro's disciples. Mm -hmm. You have a courageous spirit. It will do you well should you decide to stay elsewhere. And this one does hope to decide to stay. The Kaiji need heroes like you during these dark times. Elsewhere certainly seems to have its share of troubles. And only more to come, this one fears. Before you leave, you should speak to Zamorak. It seems that he's also decided to leave us. Perhaps he can help guide you to your next location. And, uh, what? One more what thing. will we do now? Starhaven is no longer safe. Who knows when it will be attacked again? To give in to despair, this is it. Let us instead find strength and hope. Joan okay. and Joan will one day the shine on Starhaven again. This Up my magic, uh -huh. Bone armor might be good. Render flesh, I really don't like because you have to use health to use it. Uh, sacrifice your own power to repair damaged flesh. Healing, healing you or your ally in front of you for five thousand. Applying minor defile to yourself for four seconds reduces your healing or, and. And it reduces your health recovery. Um, so you can heal, but it, then it kind of messes you up. So I really don't like that one at all. Um, let's see what else they have. Okay, none of that, none of that. Maybe armor or weapon. Let, let's look at our destruction staff. Um, four shock, we have that. Or we can go to light armor. Reduce the cost of sprint. Carbon's forbs reduces the effectiveness of snares applied to you. Let's get that later. What about world? Soul trap. This one um, deals 3,295 damage. Um, 3,295, wow, 
focus on one thing and bust it in me for. 1011 doesn't sound like a lot. Um, <clears throat> unless it gives you all three of those at once, which I'm sure it doesn't. It probably is based on the type of staff that you use. I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, let's look at these. Okay, this one gives. That one deals a little bit of a damage. Let's get that one for now. She's going to be a healer, but they're not really giving us any healing abilities right now, so we have to go with these other ones first. Alright, um, that's all we get. Let's see what this guy wants. Scarred Haven is safe, the letter you carried. Zavarak must confess that he read it while you were recovering. This one has heard of Abner Thar. He is a battle mage and former advisor to the Emperor. He seeks allies to stand against this rage of dragons. Zamarak wants to help the Khajiiti Defense Force, but he has something he needs to check on first. For you, Walker, your aid will be immeasurable. Find Abner Thar in Riverhold. Offer your assistance against the dragons. Okay, we'll go find Tharn. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, it should say that we're done with the tutorial, right? see let's see if we are if we are done with the tutorial it will be done with the um, live stream until we get with the other party he has to get through his um, yeah we're done he has to get through his um, tutorial and then we'll meet somewhere It won't be here because he doesn't have elsewhere. So let me let me go up here. And then <clears throat> when he's done with his tutorial, then we'll live stream together to start our adventures um, on these new. Um, new, new um, characters. I'll have to travel to him. I don't have any more tasks except for, or any more quests except for um, elsewhere. So I'm going to, um, we're not going to abandon it, but we are going to get out of this character until we're ready because we're going to do level them all up. Level up these characters all the way to champion together, um, so he can learn the ESO um, the aspects of ESO. <clears throat> Since he's never played it, I've played it for. Um, I've played ESO for a total of. I know I'm not an expert though. Um, oops! No, oh, shoot! Um, let's try to bring up Steam. for 4,939 hours. Um, so, I think for uh, the last year, I'm not sure, about a year, I think. I didn't get it when it first came out because I didn't have the ability to, um, the online ability, um, and now I do have that. So anyway, this is the end of the stream, and we'll get it published on um, YouTube also, and then we'll start streaming again when we go live together. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. If you stopped by, leave a note, say hi, leave a like, and we'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>